April 5th, 2012. It's strange how you can remember certain dates. I was at work in my office and I saw my cell phone ring and it was Dan. While he was away at Savannah College of Art and Design in Savannah, Georgia. And he said, Dad, I'm having a bad day. He said, I'm in a hospital. The doctor says I got cancer. There are just no words to describe what that's like to have your child call you and say that. It's like the whole world is going by and you're just stuck. The orthopedic surgeon in Savannah said to us, you've got to get him to University of Florida. If it were his son, there was no other place he would go in the country. Danny was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. Ewing sarcoma is actually the second most common bone cancer that we see in children and young adults. It's one of those diagnoses that is pretty aggressive. The outcome for Ewing sarcoma has only marginally changed in the past several decades, which begs us to ask the question, why haven't we had significant improvements comparing it to other childhood cancers? UF has the critical ingredients to pioneer new therapies for patients with cancer. One is an outstanding preclinical program, a program that can allow us to pursue the discovery-driven science that will ultimately make a difference. Those discoveries then need to be studied in true translational models. The patients here and the clinical trial team that we have available affords us the opportunity to then test these observations that we have in our translational models in patients with active viewing sarcoma. After Dan died, it was important to us to do something to remember him. So we came up with Danny's Dream. Danny's Dream is about hope, it's about remembrance, and it's about gratitude. So philanthropy is the main support that we get in the pediatric cancer world to move the science um, forward. One day, we may be able to find a cure. So the best thing that could happen from Danny's Dream is that the uh, generosity of the donors make a difference and they find better treatments for Ewing sarcoma. And I know someday that will happen. And I know at that point that Dan will be living in every one of those kids. And that's where we find our joy.